Welcome to a very special yacht tour. We're down at Sunseeker International in Poole, where behind me we have the brand new Sunseeker 88 yacht. Now, this machine is 5.6 million pounds ex-fat, and it is the very latest Sunseeker. So it uses the same basic hull mold as the 86, but with a whole new look both to the exterior and the interior with a very different layout on deck as well. Now just whilst we're here let's have a little look to see what I mean about the exterior. You can see those brand new hull windows, completely new shape and not just that but at the bulwark level on the main deck level you can see there's glass inset into those bulwarks that not only lightens the exterior look it also lets light through into the main deck. So you not only get more natural daylight inside, you also get a better view out. You can see there's the full height windows on both sides of that saloon. So you can get a view out through even at ankle level. So you've got full height and you get the full view. But you'll see more of what I mean when you get on board to actually see that. But first, let's have a little look round at the stern where you can see there is an awful lot going on here too. There's a completely new moulding at this aft end of the boat that gives it an almost transformer-like ability. So let's jump on board, take a look and I'll show you exactly how it all works. Now at the moment you can see it all nicely tucked away, neat, doesn't get in the way, but up here we have my friend Andy who is going to show off exactly what goes on when you press one of these clever little buttons here you can see everything all lined up there and when you hit the button the magic starts to happen so you can see that when that reaches all the way down you've got a lovely aft facing sun pad i can come and sit myself down on here you can relax chill out looking out over the sea but there's more to come if we press another button and once that is tucked back up if we lift on the top hinges so here it is in beach club mode you can see that you've got racks here for all your scuba gear masks snorkels flippers there's a little bench that pops up here so you can sit there and put your kit on here we've got a storage unit which is specifically made for sea bobs so you can have a pair of sea bobs tucked in there and up above there's charging points for those sea bobs so you can keep them charging without having to take them out and then over on the port side here there's a little deck fitting where you can slot in a carbon fiber shower you can have a lovely shower here so you can set that up and shower on the aft deck beautiful to have an outside shower rather than having to go inside to wash off so we've seen it in the beach club mode but i'm just going to come up here so that i can show you something else it goes an entirely different mode as well so at this point we can go into extended cockpit mode by lifting up the seat again the sun pad is unfurling again and this time rather than facing out to sea what was the lounge part is now the backrest and what was the backrest is now the bit where you sit down and furthermore now we're up at cockpit level these glass balustrades swing round lock into place and now all of a sudden you have an extra sun lounger at cockpit level facing into it really sociable arrangement so if i just sit myself down here you can see how lovely it'd be to chill out here facing into the boat you've got other friends sitting on the sofas here these two are all freestanding so the beauty of, of this is that you can move things around to suit exactly how you want to so these stools for example they've got perspex tops on so they can act as coffee tables but equally you can lift these up move them around 
and now you can completely rearrange it to have the furniture exactly how you want you can have it facing aft you can have it facing into the boat or this nice group shape it just makes the whole area more versatile and more usable a, a lot of the time on a big boat like this the cockpit almost just becomes a kind of walkway through into the saloon but having this versatility with that sun lounger facing into the boat having the freestanding furniture you can range how you want it just gives you the option to use it as a much more usable entertaining space rather than just something you walk through to get into the boat really nice idea a couple of little details to show you here these are the steps up from the cockpit but if you notice here some of these steps are hinged and you lift that up you can see access that's the shore power cable that all tucks away in there and look what's going on here as if by magic another whole section opens up giving access to the crew cabin look again little touches like this that rather than leaving that as bare exposed grp even that's got some soft paneling on it and let's take a peek down into the crew area and look even here there's lovely teak strips steps down those look like they lift up and that gives access to what's going on down here Andy is that all Here's your access to your that's your um, autopilot pump there of course and as you've got your bypassing for your emergency steering with a central locking point so you, you center up your, yep. your rudders drop the bolt in yep. you've also got access through the other cabin to the second side lift up the base there you can access into your bilge pump perfect so that's what I was talking about there's They've worked really hard to make sure everything's accessible here. So whatever you need to get to, you can get to. Uh, this is all the crew area. So they've got their own fridge and sink. Okay. And their own separate bathroom. So proper walk-in shower, no wet room and sticky shower curtains or anything. Proper separate walk-in shower, nicely lit, lots of storage there proper privacy, a little microwave and TV, got a repeater of all the Simrad so if crew are down here they can keep an eye on what's going on with the boat itself, little mess area, crew cabin so you've got twin bunks here, again lots of storage, good amount of natural light actually you've got a window here and a port through there They've got plenty of place to store their kit. And then we go through from the crew area, got washing machine, dryer, and then through into the business end of the yacht. Just having a little look, there's some another second crew cabin in there. So again, twin bunks. But come back through this big watertight door gives you a clue of what's going in here and this is the engine room and what an engine room that is I mean there's just so much standing room in here even I've just stepped up and you can still see there's a load of headroom over here it's even more if I step down onto the lower level but it's beautifully lit beautifully airy and here are the two big twin MTUs they're 1950 horsepower each you can see the cylinder heads one two three four five six so v12s got the generators either side of them lots of venting big exhausts here are the fuel filters so on both sides they both got twin fuel filters so it's sort of redundancy built in you can clean while one while running off the other but keeps all the fuel nice and clear you've got the side power thruster system so on a big boat like this you've got hydraulic thrusters because you don't want the electric motors burning out so big hydraulic system there you can see all that hydraulic cabling so you've got bow and stern thrusters there big halyard exhausts all the fire system beautifully rigged up and there is the second generator but it's also beautifully clean and labeled. You can see absolutely everything is labeled up. You've got all the energy system, full Victron energy. You can keep an eye on batteries, battery chargers, shore power, your own onboard generators. 
this boat is all about being able to go offshore and not need to rely on shore power. So it's got a range of around about 1,000 to 1,300 miles, depending on how fast you're going, probably 1,300 miles at sort of eight or nine knots. But a steady 10 knot cruise, it's probably more like 1,000 miles, but gives you plenty of range to really go off and explore. Another hot water tank, masses of lighting, fans, extractor fans, making sure it doesn't get too hot. And I'm told that it's really nice and quiet underway because you've got these big smooth V12 engines tucked away, beautifully insulated. You can see all this insulation here, keeps all the noise, all the vibration down this end so that when you're up on deck, it's wonderfully quiet. So a couple of other little details to show you in this cockpit. There, you've got access to turning on all the batteries and electrics. On this side, there is an extra set of throttles so that if you want to come into a berth, particularly stern two in the med, you've got a separate throttles and the bow and stern thrusters. So you can stand here with a perfect view of what you're trying to do, backing in towards the key. Makes it all very nice and simple. You don't have to do it from the inside helm. And then over, on the starboard side, there is a little cockpit that might be locked, I think. Oh, there we go, sorry. Little cockpit fridge there. It's always somewhere where you can grab a cool drink. Extra little storage locker. And on this side, a sink. So that's really handy, particularly, again, in the Mediterranean where you might be handling dirty lines taking the bow line forward from the key. You've got somewhere to wash your hands afterwards. And of course, all the mooring gears here, got, got a winch, somewhere to tuck away the tails of the ropes. And of course, the cleats themselves. And there are all the controls for the passerelle, the platform, the garage door, the cockpit lighting. There is so much going on here. It's a really busy, really useful section of the boat. Now moving forward, Let's go up the side deck. A couple of things to point out here. This is this lovely black gloss finish on the bulwark cappings here. It's, it's an option. You can have, uh, I think, teak or just plain white. Um, obviously, with this glossy black, you'll probably need to protect that with some fender uh, clamps to hold it there. Make sure you don't scratch it. But the other thing you want to see here are these glass bulwarks. It's a really nice idea. It looks great from outside the boat, but it also means you get view and, and a light coming through into the saloon. Nice little concealed cleat down here. You can see it from this side. You can see what I mean by those glass inserts in the bulwarks. Looks great inside and out. Moving forward, there is the door side access to the helm from outside or in, and then up to the foredeck itself. I really like this area. It's a really, really nice part of the boat. I particularly like the way this whole seating area here is on a kind of raised plinth. So when you move up here and sit on the foredeck, you've got this raised position where you can sit up front, uninterrupted view over the bow. It just makes you feel like king of the world. It really is a wonderful place to hang out. And obviously, as well as the seat, you've got some pads up front. Even the detailing here, you can see these carbon fibre cup holders. Lovely little touch. And then these perches here, you've got, I mean, they act, they sort of double as steps because, it, again, it's a bit of a climb onto the sun pads, but it's just a really nice place to perch here too. Beautiful spot. Here's all the anchor gear. You can see you've got twin anchors here, all the controls those Bruce style ankles just nest together like that. Big spotlight on the front on this boat. Anchor lockers. Plenty of space, there's even a step down so you can get to all the chain down there. Winch handle. And they really think of everything when you come along here there's also these lovely big storage lockers so open up them nice little grab handle there 
all with gas struts holding everything in place but it just means there's plenty of space to tuck things like the covers nice and neatly away so they're never stuck for somewhere to put them and they all lock in place and then come back down the port side there are those glass bulwarks again another door in this time into the galley area and back to the cockpit so while we're in the cockpit let's take a look up the flybridge so up the steps and look at the size of this space absolutely immense and again it's got that glass balustrade which gives a fabulous view out over the back you can just imagine when you're steaming along 25 knots with those big MTU 1950 horsepower engines powering away you get this wonderful wake streaming out behind you but here is the entertainment zone a huge huge flybridge space this half facing sun pad here you can do pretty much whatever you like up here it's 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 kind of an, an open book you can design it how you want whether you want freestanding furniture or fixed fitted furniture I rather like the way that these sun pads are all angled in so that they appear to float a few inches off the deck and some of the detailing up here is magnificent you can see there's a big awning that comes out electrically over here to provide shade over this aft section if you want but also look at some of the lighting here you've got the main led lights but also these little pinprick lights so that at night time you can have it mood lit you can turn off the main lights and just have this subtle little pool lighting if you like that gives a special ambiance to the whole area now these huge hard top supports even here you've got this contrast between the stainless steel and the glossy black grp massive speakers set into the side there it's a real party boat up here big big dining area here you can see the, honestly the weight of the, this teak but it's a fabulous teak table really chunky lovely supports supporting it all big comfy cushions just a lovely place to chill out in the sun up here now of course there is a huge sunroof you have the option on this boat either to have the fabric opening which this one has or you can have aluminium slats that tilt giving a nice sort of dappled shade effect but i rather like the, the ability to completely open it up and have a huge open sunroof here at the outside helm station a couple of adjustable bucket seats it's a great spot tuck in here just bolster that up so you can slide into place and then the helm station itself got the throttles those thrusters again bow and stern thruster trim tabs twin screens this is a nice little touch on Sunseekers the way they have this pop-up aero screen so you can have it down keeps it all nice and flush but if it is getting a little bit breezy you've just got the option to flip that up and it sends the air over your head there's also a rather cool little sun pad area tucked right under the windscreen so again if you want to catch some rays without any breeze at all you can tuck yourself in there and then a little socializing spot here so you can sit underway keep keep the skipper company lots of nice soft cushions even storage under here everywhere you look on this boat you'll find storage you can never really have too much storage on a boat and this is a perfect example again the storage under there i'm not going to take all the cushions off to show you but take my word for it and if you look again look at the detailing down here you see under all these seats you've got this little rope led lighting that just casts a little pool of light underneath them and again you can see all of these storage absolutely everywhere and of course the main event up here is the bar now every boat needs a good bar but this is above and beyond it's all got this lovely painted silver finish you've got your grill there so you can cook up here underneath ice maker you're going to be using a lot of ice on board a boat like this you cannot have too much refrigeration space and 
you can see that this is pretty well equipped. We've got big drawer fridges, no less than four of these. Absolutely plentiful supply of nice cold drinks. Everything has nice positive latches. And of course, a sink tucked away, lift up, tap. Oh, just slot that into place. And a little bit more storage and controls for the ice maker and the griddle. Now let's come back down. See here, even here, little pinprick LED lights. So you can come and go in the dark. And now let's have a look inside. So slide open the big, I love the way these doors that just have a little bit of a curvature on them. It would be so easy just to fit flat doors, but somehow it gives a much bigger sense of occasion to have that slight curve on it. And even here you can see a little Santiga logo etched into the glass. Now look, it's quite different in here. I absolutely love the vibe of this new main deck area. It somehow feels much wider and more open and more natural sunlight than even than the 86 with this low slung furniture. You just somehow feels beamier and bigger windows all around. Some lovely artworks, beautiful. You can see little glass and lighting effect, but it just adds that touch of feeling really designed and thought through. Low slung coffee table. And again, even though it looks like a piece of art, it's actually a really practical design. You've got these lift up panels and there's plenty of storage under there. And of course they're all soft clothes. So you can just let them sink back down. Freestanding designer chair. And over on this side, on this one, they've actually left the, the, the TV exposed. I think on the 86, it was a high low one. I think they probably will offer that option, but it's almost become a feature of the boat, having a huge flat screen TV there. And again, lots of little storage. You, you don't even know it's there half the time, but if you press on these, little doors that pop open, gives you access to some of the on-boat entertainment or just little places to tuck things away. Features here. And then there's this fabulous dining area here. And I like the way they've kept it all open. It'd be very easy to have a bulkhead here and separate it off, but leaving it all open just feels like a bigger single space. Beautiful lighting here, there's a lovely lighting feature over the table and again you can just see recessed LEDs under there giving that accent lighting. Beautiful marble table, again little inset strips of stainless steel, very funky dining mm. chairs. All of these got little shoes on the feet to make sure they don't scratch the, the wood floor. And then on both sides of it these big full height glass panels and again you can see here that's actually a carbon fiber frame just holding that panel in place it all just helps ensure that the boat's not overly heavy and look at this this is just the glass cupboard but even that's a bit of a work of art it'll pop open you can see the sun seeker glasses tumblers tucked in there beautiful oh i'm not even sure how that one oh they of course everything positive latch so Another little drawer in there, beautifully done. Even here, everything pops open. There's all the crockery beautifully tucked away, all in hand, but no buttons or handles to catch yourself on. It's all just hidden away. And then over on this side, great big opening door. And this is where you can really see the effect of those glass inserts in the bulwarks because suddenly now rather than a big block of GRP you've got those glass panels so when you're sitting at the table or in the seating over of the saloon section you get a view out even at below waist level you've got a view out through those bulwarks and look at this little corner unit again it's like a little work of art tap on that, open it up, 
champagne glasses all suspended from little stainless steel hangers, beautifully lit. It makes a feature of the actual glassware. Again, nice little storage unit here, backlit, little sculptural elements. And then through to the helm area, just noting on the right hand side, there's a day heads, really handy to have that on the main deck level, it saves you having to nip downstairs. And this beautiful kind of silk effect paneling, which has light texture, feel. And through into the bridge area, that's that door onto the outside deck I showed you earlier. And the business area. This is where it's largely going to be skippered from. And a boat with this size, to be honest, chances are you are going to have professional crew on board. You could drive it yourself, but really at 88, 90 feet, you're going to have a professional skipper. But look at those twin huge Simrad screens. Got the throttles, thrusters, absolutely everything. You've got the engine controls, the MTU display screen, show you everything that's going on there. Got your Simrad autopilot, so touch screens, but you've also got hard controls here. Full control of all the electronics. You can see everything going on here. You've got the AC power, port generator, starboard generator, absolutely business-like everything nicely to hand and a pair of proper captain's chairs fully adjustable Sunseeker logo and then this galley area here just show you this it, it's all very open plan but actually what you may not have spotted as we came through is that you can slide these doors across I love the way they're both geared to work together so you only actually have to pull one of them together and then they lock together and there you can completely seal off the bridge area you wouldn't even know it was there so the captain can get on with the business of running the boat while your guests are completely separate being entertained back here but let's just pop through into that area again because here is the galley and they've done a really nice job of this but rather than having it as a separate little corner unit as it was in the 86 they've opened up this whole area so it's all part of the kind of crew galley zone so big drawers here and then wine fridge tucked away separately keeping it all chilled the main sink all tucked away under this marble they're quite heavy these i'm not going to lift them off one-handed but you can see the stainless steel sink under there full professional catering spec galley you've got the hob here oven under here microwave, dishwasher, more fridge freezer units there, as well as a full height domestic style fridge freezer on this side. And there's the access out to the side deck again on the port hand side. And again, of course, there is another door that you can slide shut here when you want to keep it separate, but when you're serving dinner, there is access straight through to the dining area. Now, the other thing they've changed on the 88 from the 86, on the 86, there used to be two separate stairwells leading down into the accommodation, one for the master cabin and one for the guest area. On this boat, they've just got the one access point, which frees up more space all along here and gives you that greater feeling of width and beam. So let's, drop down into the accommodation zone. Again, looking at these lovely lighting features and that silk style paneling. And let's go forward to start with into the VIP cabin. Now this is really quite special because let me just show you where this starts. So there is the access door into the VIP cabin. And just note some of the detailing here, like that strip of stainless steel and the way the grains of wood all come in at slightly different angles, gives it a kind of geometric feel. But look, we come through into the VIP area and you can see that there's no bed in sight here. It's like a huge entranceway. Gives it real drama as you come in. So there is this almost like a hallway and there's little storage here, lovely big 
circular mirror, glass screen in front of you. And here is the ensuite bathroom, his and hers sinks, big mirrors, lovely walk-in shower, overhead rainfall type shower, pull out shower, and the toilet tucked behind the door, nice and discreet. Now bear in mind, we still haven't even reached the main cabin yet. This is still the kind of lobby. And then there's a desk area, a full on wardrobe. Look at that beautiful mirrored door fronts. A bit full of clobber at the moment. It's just about to go out on a photo shoot. So lots of things tucked away. But you can see the shelving units here and all of these drawers. They all have little positive latches on. It's another very seaman-like feature. Rather than having drawers that could pop open at sea, they all have little positive latches. So they all lock in place and there's no danger of them opening. And again, soft touch and then lock into place, keep them nice and secure. Has this desk area, beautiful leather covering. Lift that up. These lovely painted silver metallic area so you can keep your jewellery or makeup or pens and paper there. Again, beautiful leather lined drawers. Little shelving area, big windows, opening ports. It's really nice, however well air conditioned and heated the boat is, it's lovely to be able to get some fresh air. So opening circular ports. And finally, we get to the actual sleeping area. So you can see the scale of this cabin. Lovely low set bed, gives it a nice chic modern feel. Beautiful detailing, you can see the lights here, little reading lights, panelling up behind there. Big TV. And nothing is left as just plain unfinished surfaces. So even here you can see the different levels. It's all very sculptural, geometric. No handles get in your way, but so much storage. Everything pops open. Again, beautiful drawers. You can see some of the wood grain on here. Absolutely immaculate. Yet more storage. Again, little rib of stainless steel. The detailing is really above and beyond on this boat. And then if you look at these lighting switches, all of them have three zones on them. So one is full daylight mode, two is uh, sort of evening mode. It just tones everything down a little bit. Let's see if we hit that button. Oh, pops up. You've got a lighting feature up there. And what happens when you press three, it all goes into night mode. Everything dims automatically and suddenly you've got that mood lighting effect. So you can program this exactly how you like, whatever feature you want, and then Press a button and it goes straight to that mode. Now then, coming back through here, here's that lobby area and now we're back into the sort of open public guest area. Now another thing to point out is just how accessible everything is here. You'll notice these panels in the floor and they've tried really hard to make sure that everything is easy to get to. So rather than having to peel off carpets, you literally just lift up the panel and there you've got access to the grey water tank in this case, or there's another one in there. It's beautifully lit. There's so much space down there. You can easily crawl down there and get to anything you need to get to. All beautifully lit. That's the, the hot water tank, stainless steel. Everything has valves on it so you can shut it off and access them. And this is actually one of the two twin cabins. You can see two twin beds here. And in this case, you, they're actually on sliding tracks. So you can push those boats together. That storage unit there lifts out and repositions the other side of the bed. I won't do it now, but you can see how that very easily slots in the other side of the bed. Those two beds come together and you've got a double. That's matched. There's another one over on this side, much the same. I think in this case, this, these aren't on track. So this has been kept deliberately as two singles, but I'm sure you could specify that option if you want to. Again, those big hull windows with the opening port section, plenty of storage and their own ensuite bathroom. And then the real pièce de résistance is the owner's cabin, pausing briefly to look at yet more storage on the way to it. And here we are in the master cabin itself. Now look at this space. 
quite remarkable. So the sleeping area is defined. You can see there's, you've got carpet in the sleeping area. This lovely low bed again appears to float off the floor with underlit LEDs. Massive, massive TV screen. Again, this lovely kind of geometric detailing, all 3D. You can see it's all slightly different levels. Just adds interest and texture. Beautiful lighting features. Again, lots and lots of storage, all with these fiddle shelves. You can specify exactly how you want. Everything pops open. Beautiful shelving. Lovely drawer, again, all these positive latches, so everything stays locked away and then just slides into place. Really is so much, but you just can't have too much on a boat. You're always looking for places to tuck things away. And again, you can see these light zones here. Press the button, I think we're on one at the moment. Press two, you can see everything start to dim. And then you can really see the detail of some of these accent lighting and these little wall sconces. Pop it down to three, right down into night mode. But you can just imagine how beautiful this is going to be, these little pools of light and all on this electric one hit switch. And now here we are on the other side. So you can see where that carpet ends and then we go through to the wood flooring. And this is the kind of dressing zone, the work zone. You've got another desk or vanity unit here. Again, with that lovely leather covered finish. Lovely lamps, another big circular mirror there. Lots more storage. Beautiful little pull-out stool. Sit yourself there, do your makeup. Perhaps a little bit of work if you put it down into desk mode again. A couple of coffee cups, all, all slightly different levels, so it's perfect height for working. But it would be so easy just to have one level surface on there, but putting it on slightly different levels just adds that extra level of detail and interest. And that, my friends, is the Sunseeker 88 yacht. Quite a remarkable boat and an amazing difference to the 86 we saw really not that long ago. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the subscribe button and better still, the little bell for the notifications so you'll know whenever we release a new video. Thank you for watching.